Hey y'all, um, I'm coming with video number two for the night. I am uploading my Love and Hip Hop um, season four, episode three video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna upload this one tonight, um, but this is what's on my nails. Um, we actually did not go to church yesterday, so I did not do uh, what's on my face. Then Friday night, we ended up, um, we didn't go anywhere Friday night. Um, I thought we were going to go to the movies Friday night, but we didn't. We did go to a fight party Saturday, but we were running. Like, it was at my husband's, one of his sergeant's house, which y'all, whenever we go to, y'all, we have such a good time. Um, but my husband had told me that we was coming, I mean, like, super, super early for the, um, like, I'm not my way long before the fight started, which I know, you know, fight party, you're supposed to get there early, but yeah needless to say he was rushing me um and we still got there like four hours before the fight started but he was rushing me and i'm like really babe so i didn't do a video before then the fight ended y'all we all know that fight went the fight ended you know it was after 12 here um here it was after 12. we ended up leaving about 30 minutes after the fight and we do live on a military installation Y'all normally when you know when we're about to pull up and get go through the gates because you know you have to you know go through ID check and stuff. On a normal day, it might take us five minutes, maybe five minutes tops from the time we actually pull in to get in the line to go through the gates to the time we are pulling up into our driveway. Five minutes maybe. But on the weekends after a certain hour. Um, after 12, if you, you know, they make everybody get out the car, um, do a car check, all that their stuff, which I understand why, you know, they want to make sure people are not driving drunk and stuff like that. Plus, y'all, it was so backed up. We have two gates that are 24 hours. The first gate that's closest to our house, y'all, it was so backed up. You couldn't even get in to, you couldn't even, you had to stay at the light. Like you couldn't even turn from the light to get in the line to get, you know, to go through the gates. It was that bad though. So my husband was like, he had been drinking. So he told I was driving. So I went to the, to, to the other 24 hour gate. Y'all, we ended up being in a damn line for an hour. <laughs> Seriously. In the line just to get to the gate to show our ID to get out to get home. So yeah, y'all. Needless to say, by the time we actually made it home, yeah, it was too late. I was, mm -mm, I wasn't doing no video. Sunday, um, we did go to the movies. So we went to see um, the Avengers: Age of Ultron, which was really good, really good previews. But once again, now this was, Sunday was my fault. Um, Sunday, you know, my husband was like, "Well, hey, we we're going to the movies. We can go out to dinner. You know, make a little date of it." So I'm like, "Okay, baby." The movie that we wanted to we wanted to go see the five thirty showing. Y'all I know this ain't got to do with my nails, but I'm just saying this real quick. We wanted to go to the five thirty showing. Okay. I said, okay, I'm gonna get ready about four thirty because it does take about twenty minutes to get from our house to the um movie theater. I'm in there watching about last night, which is very funny. I'm in there watching that and I messed around and next thing you know, it's like 4.45 and I'm like oh hell I got to hurry up so y'all I had to try to shower and do my makeup in like 25 minutes <laughs> and the real gag was y'all we hurried up and got there we got there right at 5 30 the damn show was sold out and I'm like really on a Sunday it was showed out sold out so we ended up the next one that we could go the six the five thirty and the six o'clock was showed out sold out sorry so we went to we said well, we'll just get dinner before so we went it was a really good Mexican restaurant right attached you know like you know you don't have to actually leave the parking lot of the movie theater you know how like it's like a plaza um so we went to the Mexican restaurant and ate and then went and saw the movie um so yeah I didn't do a video late yesterday because. I mean, my makeup, it wasn't bad, you know, because I've been doing makeup long enough to wear, you know, I don't never just look like a clown, but I really wasn't happy with it. 
one of the colors I wasn't happy with how it looked with the other color and if I had more time I probably would have taken one of the colors just started over and still used it but not used it as much so that's why I didn't do no what's on my face so this is what's on my nails and some really good news okay so here are my nails um I pretty much did them to and I used the three new wet and wild colors that I got for free from Walgreens um I did do a Walgreens haul and a wet and wild haul well it was a wet and wild haul so um the first color is who is ultraviolet number 488b which is right here the next one is Break Minds Think Alike, number 487E. And the last one is French White Creme, um, 453B. And I did say that my, um, my white, the other, I think I had LA Colors White, and yeah, it was really clunky and old. So I'm happy that I got some more white. So this is how they all look together. Like I said, I just bought all of these. Um, I got them all at Walgreens, all for free. Now, as always, my base coat is this Beauty Secrets that I got from Sally's. My top coat is out the door. And right now, I'm using this no lift nails um this is empty but it's i have the um acrylic in my little um dish so this is the one that i'm using right now which goes to my um good news i have been saying for a while that you know um I'll, i also have the no lift nails um, acrylic liquid but i have been saying for a while that i had some good news i didn't want to jinx myself i wasn't going to um, really put um, you know say it before I got final 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 confirmation well I finally got final confirmation that I have been offered a position here on post um, it's nothing major just you know something to do um, so yeah I have a job now um, I actually haven't started I, I was waiting because I was offered the job but you know because it's here on post on the military installation um, you know, it's considered like federal, so I had to do a background check, and Georgia took forever. Um, well, my the old county that we lived in took forever to um, send my um, background check back. Um, yeah, they actually took an extra week and a half or something. So I I will I do start this week. I start orientation this week, and then after that. I will be working. I'm not super, super thrilled about the hours because I would actually prefer something earlier in the day. That way, you know, like I'm working while my husband is working. Um, so once he gets off, you know, I'm close to getting off and, you know, but, you know, you have like, you know, extra expenses and stuff like that, you know, because my mom did pass and there are, you know, extra expenses from that that I want to take care of and stuff like that, you know, you just go ahead and whatever, off, you know, hours you get off is what you take. So I am really excited about that. Um, so now that I will be making my own monties, my own coins, I will be actually changing my, um, my acrylic and everything. I researched, I have been researching here on, on YouTube. I researched on Instagram. Um, Sorry, y'all heard something. It's probably Tika um, in her little cage. But I researched because I wanted to, I mean, I know I can't buy the professional um, stuff because I don't have a license. But I wanted to get stuff that was really, really good that I saw professional people using, like acrylics. Um, you know, I wanted to get it without having a license. So what I, um, one of the girls that I watched, I have watched on YouTube for years and years, um, Cece Kane, she... Um, you know, she started off just doing her own nails and then she went to school um, and now she has her license. Um, but she uses uh, Tammy Taylor 
Um, I've seen her post videos um, on, you know, little clip videos on um, Instagram and stuff with Tammy Taylor. So, you know, since she was using it and she's someone that I have watched, you know, her videos on nails and stuff for years. Before she got her license, I, I always watch her videos because I love how she does them. And, you know, because she was using it, I actually researched it and I see that I can buy Tammy Taylor products off of like Amazon. Um, I mean, to me, it's not priced too bad. Um, so, yeah, I will be changing out my acrylics, um, hopefully within like two months from now. Um, I want to, you know, get to working and let the check start coming in and stuff because I'm going to be honest, if my husband is paying for it, I get the cheapest acrylic that I can and just try to make do and blah, blah, blah. Because I, I don't really like, I mean, I know what's his and mine and vice versa, but I'm, I've never been a wasteful person, you know. So if it's something, if I can make do with something, then I will. So I may do with the cheaper acrylic, the cheaper acrylic liquid, um, the cheaper brushes and stuff like that. But, you know, now that I'm going to make my own money. You know, I'm going to set money aside, you know, just to, you know, get stuff that I want for me. And part of that is up in my acrylic and my brushes. So I'm really, really, really excited about that. I thought about possibly cutting my nails off for a while and just going to actually doing tips. Thought about that. Because I do acrylic overlay. So I'm not sure. I'm not really sure if I want to do that or not. Um, I'm going to try. I'm going to start off with just the, the acrylic overlay um, like I'm doing now. And if it, because right now it separates. Um, and see, this could, that could be the cheap, cheapo, the cheaper um, acrylic that I'm using. So once I get, you know, some better acrylic, I'm going to see if it separates not and when i say separate i'm not talking about lifting like in the back you know in the back of my nail there you know because that's you know it lifts what i'm talking about is under the nail you know when i say separate because these are my nails so like my nails separate from the acrylic and i don't know why um some nails do it some nails don't so it's not how it's not my application it's not how i'm doing my nails because if it was how I'm doing my nails every single nail would separate um you know or whatever like on here this nail it's a little bit of space between the nail and the, you know the top of the acrylic because the nail itself was separated and I just took some clippers or I took my little a file my little electric um file that I have and I went and clean all of it up because it was separated anyways and separating underneath can lead to um lifting uh, or you know it it creates air bubbles and stuff so i took that off i also will be getting a better drill um which i know some people don't even use a drill i know that but i like drills so i'm probably going to be getting a better drill eventually um so yeah I'm just going to show my nails again. Now, this time I didn't even put bling even on my ring finger. So, y'all, that's my good news. Um, and it still has to do with nails. Um, so, let's see. Like I said, this is what's on my nails. And what I did was each um, finger has all three colors. Uh, what I did, like I would put one color as the base color on this nail it's this color is the base color i did the entire nail in this color and then once it was completely dry i came over and i did a swipe of the white in one direction and a swipe of the other purple color in another direction um so that's how it actually looks on this hand i did on this finger i did the opposite i did this color as the base once it was completely dry i did a swipe of the white again and then i did a swipe of the darker color now these two colors actually remind me i know this ain't got nothing to do with it but these remind me of my wedding 
because my wedding was um my wedding colors was purple it was two shades of purple and white of course but one was a deep deep purple and then one was a lighter purple and they complemented each other really really well so these colors remind me of that because they really complement each other um none i didn't i didn't do white as a base coat on any of my nails so i just pretty much alternated you know every other finger one was the base coat and the swipe of the other two and then the other finger the other one was the base coat so like if you look at these you know you can see the base coats are different same as here the base coats are different now on my actual ring finger what i did was i put the who is ultraviolet as the base coat i let this completely dry and then what i did was i took all three colors i dropped dots of even the who is ultraviolet um drop dots of all three colors on here and i just swirled them so i did marbling and like i said before i actually like to do the marbling like if you let the the first color dry completely and then marble because it it it, it almost does like it adds layers to it so yeah so this is how my nails look um, like I said, I did not, I didn't do any bling. Um, I didn't just polish. Um, once I do, once I do, you know, have checks coming in and stuff, there are other things that I want to start purchasing. Um, just different things that help with styling and designs and stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm excited, y'all. I'm really, really excited. I'm actually kind of nervous because I haven't worked like I was looking today the, I left my job September 26 2013 because we had to be here October 1st 2013 um you know when, when my husband is stationed so I you know I worked up until a couple of days before the time for us to actually be here and yeah, so I haven't worked since September of 2013. Um, I mean, I know it's, it's not a difficult job, but I'm just a little nervous. Um, so yeah, y'all, I'm just a little bit nervous, but I mean, I know it's not going to be bad. Um, you know, I, I have expenses that are my expenses that are not, you know, my husband's expenses and that's that's one of the main reasons that I wanted to actually get a job because, you know, yeah, it's, I mean, expenses for my mother's funeral and stuff, that, that, I feel like that's my responsibility. It's not my husband's. I appreciate him. I appreciate everything my husband does for me. My husband takes care of me. He does. I'm just being honest. But at the same time, you know, things come up and this is something that has come up and it's like, I don't ex I don't really I don't expect him to pay you know all the money that's still due and stuff like that so no and plus it kind of feels good to have you know not have to get you know money from him for stuff I mean not that he's like oh you can't spend no money no it ain't nothing like that because my husband takes care of me my husband loves me plus y'all I don't really spend a whole lot of money I don't I coupon, I do stuff that try to save money, period. You know, I've always been somebody that saves money. I'm not somebody that just blows money. I'm not wasteful. I, ugh, y'all, I, I can't stand being wasteful. But y'all, I'm going to end it. I'm about to go to sleep. So yeah, this video will probably get uploaded tomorrow. Um, So once again, y'all, this is what's on my nails. I really, 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 really like them. Um, Like I said, once I actually um probably about two months i will be switching um and going to tammy taylor um in the meantime i'm at least i think you know before two months i'm going to go ahead and um get me some different brushes and some acrylic brushes I like to actually do the nails um because so far the stuff that i've priced for me to get the acrylic the acrylic liquid and 
the dehydrator, um, you know, everything I need is probably going to be about $100, I think, um, or around that amount, which to me is not terrible um, for some quality products. Um, and I still only do my nails. Um, yeah, I've had more people ask and yeah, I still only do my nails. I know some people don't um, mind, you know, oh girl, you ain't got no license, that's fine, but you know. <sighs> Y'all don't say this and I'm going to end it. Why is it, I have seen people on Facebook posting pictures saying nails done by me. Y'all, before you go to somebody and pay them to have your nails just jacked up, do like I did. Go to YouTube, watch a video, go to a salon, pay attention to what they are doing. I mean, when you sit in the chair, you can be watching their every move. That's the easiest way to learn how to do nails. You know, go into an actual salon. If you're somebody that gets your nails done on a regular basis, go into a salon and watching them and also utilizing YouTube. You know, because there are people, um, I can't think of the name. It's one, um, this girl, this lady is a professional um, nail artist. She has one, it's man, nano or nail nails or something. Um, she sells product, you know, she has her own product line. The products are really, really good. They're just really, really high. Um, when I, cause I saw it when I was doing research, but y'all, you can actually go to their page is nail N A I O I think. And they do step by step. I'm talking about for, for beginners, step by step, how to, um, how to lay, how to put tips on, how to do acrylic how to how to file nails like it's not complicated it's not hard you know it is a learning process because i've been doing my nails for a year and a half now when i first started yeah i wasn't as good as i am now hopefully a year from now i'll be able to say i'm better than i was a year ago but y'all don't be going to these people who honestly have you walking out just looking like a 10 year old did your nails and yeah don't go to these people like seriously don't be going to these people giving them your money when they pretty much done went to Dollar Tree and got some 99 cent decorations putting them on your nails and you giving them 20 you know 20 dollars like no it's cheaper to get the stuff yourself and learn how to do your own nails Y'all, I just can't with all these gurus, like makeup gurus, nail gurus. Like, I have said that over and over again. I can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, I'm just going to end this. But I do thank y'all for watching. As always, if you do subscribe to my channel, thank you very much. If you don't, you just watch the video. Thank you very much. Um, I do videos strictly because I like doing them. That's it. Um, Next video that I will be making. Do -do -do -do. Um, I might do a video, you know, after my first day of orientation, I might do a video, but other than that, um, oh, I did not make a video for Mary Mary because I, y'all, if it ain't good, if it ain't nothing like really like, oh, I just got to talk about it. I don't make the video, but as always, thank y'all for watching.